dropping in for a quick live. I wanted to talk, and of course, Foo Foo Cuddly Poop's always a little jealous. You wanna come say hello? Hold on. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, say hello. <laughs> Hi, hello, hello, everyone that is here so far. I'm not gonna stay too long and I say that every time and I end up here for like 30 minutes or more. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know something that happened to me a couple of days ago. I went to um, Whole Foods and nothing special, just picking up a snack. And I actually, um, there was music playing. Um, it wasn't Kanye West Gold Digger, but it was like the original Ray Charles song that was playing. And, you know, we're standing around waiting for our food basically. And there's a guy, maybe about 10, 15, maybe even 20 feet away. And, um, He's Caucasian, and he starts singing the Kanye West version, which includes dropping the N-bomb, and he, he said it. I, I, I personally do not use the N-word. I never have said the N-word, and it's because I think it's one of the worst words in the English language, in, in language, period. It's so demeaning and racist and awful and I don't understand honestly anyone's use of it but you know black people if you want to use it that's your own choice that's your own decision I do think it stems from a very racist background so I don't completely understand you know taking it back or things like that I mean that's that's what they called slaves to demean us. Like, I don't, it, I just think it needs to go away, personally. I think it needs to go away. I've never said it in my entire life. I don't think anyone should be saying it. But to go in Whole Foods, like, I know you guys have black customers, not just me. And hear somebody just casually thinking that it's okay to say it during a song and I actually approached him because that's me and I asked him I'm like why why would you say that and he's like oh I'm sorry it was like an immediate reaction and I'm like well why would you say it's it like oh I was just singing the song and it's like that doesn't matter because it's in a song doesn't mean you should just that it's okay I don't care if you have black friends that say the word either um and they say it's okay to say it around them i don't agree with that either it's just it's never an okay word to use ever i don't see it like ever especially if you are not black like i said that is your choice if you would like to say it if you are black but dude dude the fuck why what do you get? What do you gain from that? What what is it helping? What is it doing? If somebody could explain that to me and actually give me a good reason, you're not going to get it, but go ahead, try, present it to me because it's insanity to me that we are still using this word even casually or chalking it off to, "Oh, it's just a song." You know what that word is. You know where it came from. Don't. Why? Don't. It doesn't make you cool at all. I just don't understand it. And yeah, the guy never gave me a good reason as to why he used that word. And I lit, he just kept saying he was sorry because he didn't have a reason for it. A zero, like zero reasons for it. And I just told him, I'm like, use this opportunity to learn and to teach others because I mean shit what else can you do 
And normally I'm pretty quiet about this type of stuff, but I'm just so tired and over it and I'm getting better with using my voice more for things that are very important to me. And yeah, this is, this is an important one. Like, don't say the N word ever. Like I said, I have never said it. I have never said it. I'm black. I have never said it in my entire fucking life. I have no reason to. Why? It's racist. It's horrible. I did approach management about it and was kind of told that there wasn't really a protocol for this because they had never experienced it, probably because, once again, they don't have a huge black clientele, um, and also a lot of people don't speak up. So this is me speaking up and I'm going to use my Instagram and I'm going to use my YouTube and every other platform I possibly can to bring awareness to this and hopefully Whole Foods will get back to me they have all of my information and I have theirs so I want to know what is going to be done to address this are they going to have a seminar or something uh, do they have a racial seminar in place even like dude because I was told that there really wasn't any protocol for this I I just this stuff needs to be standard practice. That we're too old for this as a as a human race. The fuck. It just shouldn't be this way. We should have practice standards and practices when racist bullshit happens in the workplace that we're like absolutely not no tolerance and now everybody got has to get a little refresher course on how to act like a motherfucking human. Just saying. <sighs> okay. It took me a few days to even work up to talking about this because, dear God. But yeah, anybody who's just joining, hello, hello. I was going on a rant about um, the N-word and I heard somebody using it at uh, Whole Foods and it just it wasn't necessary he was quote singing along with a song so yeah um, gonna try to move away from that a little bit just cause it it frustrates me I don't I can't comprehend it yeah I can't so yes lord people dude people it's just like why like i said i yeah i i don't agree when anyone says it no matter what their race is but and if it's a song i just just don't just don't why just don't <laughs> don't say it y'all don't say it that's what they called slaves like what the fuck we are not slaves stop y'all it's 2019. Wake the fuck up. Because then you have to start the conversation of, oh, well, who is allowed to say it? Who's not allowed to say it? Uh-uh. Just don't say it. Done. Conversation over. All right. Whew. See, I'm like stress sweating and shit, y'all. Look, you can't, you can't smell. Dude, that's stress sweat, I swear. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me try to ground myself a bit center. Cause dude. Oh, do I have my crystals? My crystals are right here. That will fucking help. And Goofy's here. Uh, let's see. These are a bunch of my crystals. Ooh, let's go for black tourmaline. It gets rid of negative bullshit. So yeah, we're going to do that just gonna hold on uh, but otherwise oh no 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 foo foo cuddly poops please not now darling darling now is not the time sweetheart come here baby come here come here now thank you I know there are so many scary things and sounds outside <laughs> It's just so stressful. It's 
It's just <laughs> to be a pampered poop. <sighs> yes, my crystals are charged and loaded. They oof. That's one of those when you need a little extra boost from Mother Earth, all the spirits and everything, crystals. <sighs> they help so much. So much. Don't depend on them, but use them as a as a, a helpful tool for sure. <laughs> Ah, uh, so I am working on Rufio right now. Um, everybody thought I was working on three cosplays. I'm actually working on four. Found that kind of funny because um, I actually had it set at three and then I remembered that I was doing one more because, I don't know, being a Gemini, I'm a great multitasker and my Gemini twin is a Gemini and she gets work done too. <laughs> And she has her own fucking agenda. Oh, gosh. So how is everybody else? How's everybody doing here? Let's see, Rick. Noel. I'm really bad at saying names. The dyslexia fucks with me. And, uh, not going to try and say it because there's too many A's and S's and T's. It's a lot of A's. For me to be able to say that. Um, but yeah. Okay, I guess. What's up? Another Friday, I suppose. Oh, that seems a little dreary. Life is good, raining in Florida. It always rains in Florida, but then it clears up and everything's all good. I love Florida. Because of Disney World. I love Disney World. Hot as fuck in NYC. That's normal. <laughs> I'm actually from New York. Um, not New York City, Western New York. A whole. It, it might as well be a whole different state, to be perfectly honest. I'm from um, Buffalo, so yeah, near Niagara Falls and all that. And Niagara Falls, gorgeous. Do miss that, and I miss being so close to Canada because I used to party there like a couple times a week back in the day. <laughs> but yeah. And you're doing good. That's good to hear. I know you're like all the way in another country. I think you're in, was it Sweden? Was it Micmac shows? I think you're in, it was Sweden. Yeah. Ah, that's funny. Buffalo, now nah, you're from Can. I should fucking start saying that. You're so right. <laughs> we are from Canada. You are so right because I miss my Denmark. Ah, oh, so sorry. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're from, we're from Canada. I miss my Canadian friends too. And yeah, all the A's and whatnot. It was, it was really funny. I dated a couple Canadians and dude, when they went home, they would come back with the stories and the boots and A <laughs> and I would call them out hard. I'd call them so hard. <laughs> it was cute though. It was, it was fun. I mean, Canadians are some of the nicest people like in the world honestly like truly like that's not a stereotype they are truly some of the nicest people in the world let's see where are we so i'm from i'm assuming bx is the bronx once again like he said i'm basically from canada so i don't know a lot about the city boroughs i'm so bad <laughs> oh but you lived upstate for a year Oh, you probably were bored as hell <laughs> if you lived in the Bronx. Jeez. In Denmark? What's it doing in Denmark? I want to travel to Denmark, like, really bad. I heard it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, just, yeah, just gorgeous. There's no... I come here, good folks. <laughs> No, I'm good where I am. I'm happy. I've lived, well, I grew up in Buffalo, and then um, I moved to Chicago. So I lived in Chicago, but I didn't live in, like, Chicago, Chicago, like, downtown. I lived in Chicago land, uh, which is, I don't honestly think it should be called Chicago either. Um, <laughs> it's very, very, very different. It's, um, 
it's kind of like buffalo if i'm being perfectly honest so yeah can i put you down or are you sleeping i'm lucky she's only five and a half pounds because otherwise this shit would not be happening he's sleeping oh yeah you give a kiss oh yeah i know so sweet <laughs> burr you must love the hey best kept secret it's not cold here it's not cold in, in Denver. It's cold in the mountains. I don't live in the mountains. Most people don't live in the mountains. It's not cold at all. It is not cold. Don't tell anyone though, I'm happy. <laughs> Get, we're getting a lot of overpopulation. <laughs> the weather is, there is mixed. Yeah, dude. Climate change has also been fucking up the weather hard. Like, really, really hard. Because, oh, my garden. My poor little garden. I mean, it's doing fine. I'm just worried that all of a sudden on the back end, because everything started so late to be able to get everything planted in the ground, that on the back end that it might get colder sooner. As long as it doesn't get colder sooner, my garden will be fine. But, my poor little garden. Like, I couldn't, like, there, yeah, it was fucking late May, like, May 20th, when we had, like, two or three inches of fucking snow. What kind of bullshit is that? That's not typical for this area. Like, not even close. They're normally starting spring, hard spring in February, and I don't think they've really in, um, like, hail in May, but not full, like, it was full-blown snow. It was, like, buffalo snow. It was insanity. Now that type of weird weather pattern is very typical for Buffalo. Like I've gotten snow in my birthday, <laughs> my birthday June 2nd in Buffalo, and that shit was pretty fucking normal. Like they don't really have spring in Buffalo. It's just um, winter and then summer, like maybe a week or two of spring where it's just warming up and then all of a sudden it's like 90 overcast every fucking day, greenhouse. It's a little nuts the humidity is psychotic um the bugs are psychotic um one of my friends actually posted about uh the buffalo mosquitoes will pull your socks down to bite you and that is so fucking true i'm actually allergic to mosquitoes and i do not have anywhere near the issues i did here in denver um it's because of the altitude that definitely helps a lot less bugs and whatnot but yeah Oh, poops, I gotta put you down, baby. I love you, but you are, like, this is, this is lifting. <laughs> you say goodbye? You say goodbye. Uh, say goodbye. Mm. Say bye. Okay. Oh, you missed me? I missed you, too. Oh, my God, my fucking arm. I missed you, too. I know I haven't done a live in a while. I had... A pretty bad endometriosis flare-up um, this past weekend paired with um, an allergic reaction to freaking green tea of all things so hello everybody that just came here hello hello yeah I think we all hate bugs too like uh-uh I got bit up here a few days ago and that's gone down and then I got bit on my hand the other day but otherwise when I go outside, if I go in my garden, I literally cover myself head to toe. Like, I put full pants, uh, tuck my pants into my socks, hat, scarf, uh, zip-up, hoodie. I have to make sure, like, nothing is showing because I just get attacked. It's ridiculous. I see everybody. Hello. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Herminator. Hello, hello. Yes, I actually spent a summer in Atlanta, like three months or so. Bruh. Uh-uh. <sighs> Not doing it. <laughs> Not doing it again. Uh-uh. Yeah, I stayed inside. Like, it's definitely hot, Lana. Like, I get it. I get it. But mm -mm, I'm staying my ass inside. <laughs> and yes, the mosquitoes were gnarly and mm -mm, no, no. I'm doing good. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a lot better. So I swear the endometriosis, like outside of like the toll it takes on my body because oh, 
I eventually am gonna post a side by side picture because right now I like kind of have abs, like my little ablets, I like to call them. But um, yeah, when I have a flare up, I literally can look like I'm six months pregnant, easily. Like I I can barely suck in my stomach, and I just, ugh, it just. It just disforms my whole entire body. And that, when you look in the mirror and you're like, I had abs two days ago. <laughs> you're like, that can really fuck with your mind. It really can because I eat so healthy and I'm really body, um, or not body conscious, but I'm, a, I'm aware of what I put into my body because um, mentally I was in such an unhealthy place and I believe that as soon as my mind started to get better everything else fell into place and I um, lost 75 pounds I was a little over 200 pounds at my biggest and I'm gonna I did find some old pictures but I don't think I found any at my absolute biggest but I did find some when I was at least 50 50 or 60 pounds heavier than I am now and I want to do a side by side because it's still like nuts. Cause I swear to God, I just woke up one day and all of a sudden I'm like, I lost all this weight and out of my clothes are fitting. And it was my mind. It was my mind that changed. It all, all of a sudden, like I just started eating healthy. I didn't, I didn't want to drink alcohol. I didn't even, I didn't want coffee. You know, I didn't want the caffeine. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's crazy how that works. Like, the mind is such a powerful, powerful tool. Um, not as powerful as the heart. I, I do believe that a lot of our true power comes from our heart and in turn, you know, joins up with the mind and all that. So, <sighs> but yeah, I appreciate <laughs> humid land, huh? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's humid as hell there, too. But Buff I, I'm telling you, Buffalo's worse. Buffalo's way worse. It low-key has its own little ecosystem, and fuckery just happens. Constantly, just constant fuckery. It's awful. <laughs> oh. But I'm actually going to get back to working on Rufio... I did some gardening earlier. I need to do some more gardening. <laughs> I'm just tired. It's a little it's a little warm. I'm a little mentally exhausted. Some toxic family bullshit always happening in the background. It's just it's just not necessary. Um and it's just a lot of mental a lot of mental stuff. I'm a big work in progress, which is fine with me like it's it's a good thing I think I'll always be a work in progress and I kind of love that because I think I'm going to be forever a student of life and keep learning and keep growing um yeah a lot of, a lot of mental heavy but but I think that's what I was made for my mind is a very interesting place and I'm a tough, I'm a tough woman. It took a lot to get here, trust. Um, and a lot of, a lot of things that I wasn't quite sure if I would make it here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm happy to be here and be in such a great place. And to be here with all of you, because I love you, because you're amazing. Yeah, I do. I love you guys so much, and fucking A, I really, I really have to try streaming, it's my own mental hang-ups, it's, it's not you guys, I know, like, I am a work in progress, <laughs> that's all, and I will, I will get there, I will get there, and I am getting there, and I am getting so much better every day, and I know a lot of you that have been following me for a while can definitely see the growth and progress, not just in my cosplays, but in my mental health and my, um, person, more of my personality coming out. 
and it's still not fully there and I'm I'm always thinking when you guys you're like oh you're you're nice and funny and all these things and I'm like I wish I had the um, emotional courage right now to show you full me and I'm getting there I'm really trying to get there because I, I want I want to put it all out there I love me some me <laughs> but I, I want you guys to see all of me I think that's important and I have like jack shit to hide <laughs> and I just want to have fun together I want to play together and I want you guys to like jump in my crazy ass mind and play around a little bit and I want to jump into your minds and hearts and poke around a little bit um, because that shit's fun I like to make people feel a little uncomfortable I love to um, see when people um, like something that they typically wouldn't or they're not too sure about makes them a little uncomfortable I love that type of shit I think it's amazing and I do I do like to poke at it a bit I know when not to but yeah a little mischievous but I'm gonna get out of here thank you everyone who popped in and listened to my rant hopefully Whole Foods will be getting back to me about the worker that was singing the n-word but either way I oh hello somebody came back hello hi Don how are you hope you're doing well hope you're doing well we'll have to do another live together soon and I need to come on here and do lives more I need to I need to just play some Mortal Kombat and put it up there. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Like, I literally have everything connected for my PlayStation camera and just haven't done it because... Fuck me. I, I, I don't have a lot of good excuses. I have a lot of hang-ups and bullshit excuses because I'm sure if I told you half of the things where I'm like, eh, maybe not today, eh, maybe not today, maybe not today, and that turns into months, and then it's been almost a year, and I recognize that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I know you guys love me for, like, what's inside of here, and what's up here, and the real ones do, but, um, and I'll, and I'll, I will, I will get there. See, I, I feel it now. I'm like, don't want to cry right now. Be like the first live where I haven't cried. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I'm getting out of here. My arm's getting tired, hungry, thirsty. Bitches always be thirsty. So I love y'all and I will see you soon, very soon sooner than last time i'm trying to make it more of a habit if i start streaming i do have twitch um i am literally cheesy cosplay on every fucking platform that you can think of i snagged it i am that person so if you're ever worry uh wondering what my handle is or if i'm on a platform literally just search cheesy cosplay that's me it literally is me like yeah i took everybody i took it from everything <laughs> but um Yep. Hope everybody's doing well, staying cool, um, or staying warm, depending on your climate. And everybody get out in the garden if you're gardening. It's a great place to just, like, regenerate and get back to Earth and Mother Nature because we all need that. Put your phone down. As I, as I hold my phone. I'm going to put my phone down. Love you. Mwah!